Did you guys ever make a restaurant in your house? Yeah. Do what they just did? McDonald's is the backyard all the time. I did that as well. And I had a name for it. And we were going to be featured at the Taste of Chicago. Oh, yeah? Really? What what was the name of your restaurant? I'm not going to tell you. You have to. Not for at least a year. No, I'm not ready for it. And and people think that I'm... Set that reminder People think that I'm um, kidding, but I'm not. And it's no, the whole thing is just embarrassing for me to think about still. You brought it up. I was probably like 12. Yeah, I know. I just asked if you did. I'm not telling you. Than living in a van? To me, it is because I <laughs> I like oh, the thought better, of living in a van. That's a good question. I bought that, that van as an adult to live in a van. <laughs> I know. No, 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 no. I was caught uh, at my restaurant in my <laughs> in my whitey tighties by my aunt Terry in my grandma's kitchen. Were you like seventeen? <laughs> <laughs> This Wait, is the portrait a of a loser. I don't think I understand. We have to talk. You have about a made-up restaurant, yeah. and you managed to get like, yeah. I, I were was you think, fired I, from your made-up restaurant because you were acting like a deviant? It was. It, <laughs> I was. I was probably like uh, ten or eleven, and I was. I was just in whitey tidies, and this was just me making food in the kitchen, and I didn't know how to make a lot, but I knew how to make some, and I was. I was not expecting them to show up see i lived in an apartment building uh in chicago i grew up there there were four apartments and three of them were occupied by family and my oma um grandma she owned the building her and my opa they bought it and one of the apartments was theirs and so we were always kind of over there and as she got older aunt terry who didn't live there would come come in check on her yeah and i but i basically lived there like she had the cable Mm mm-hmm she had the plush green carpeting, mm-hmm. and I, I made uh, a restaurant called the Butter Wagon. And I'm not kidding. <laughs> this isn't a joke. This isn't because of. Um, <laughs> this, this, you this named it the same this, thing you call your van. <laughs> yeah, and my gut, <laughs> and my mouth, and his um, penis. That's uh, yeah, because I the one two, one of the two things that I knew how to make was grilled cheese. <laughs> and man, did I did I butter it up. So although I could make you bread with butter and <laughs> grilled, but without the cheese, if you wanted. Yeah, toast. Yeah. 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 yeah, but grilled toast yeah. with butter. I specialized as a kid. Uh, was, never, uh, I never started my own restaurant. Didn't have the gumption, but I was a pretty good maker of grilled peanut butter. Ooh, which is a grilled cheese, but with you peanut butter. It out. It's not. Yeah. yeah, it's not like you need to be Indiana Jones for that one. Did you make it with <laughs> cheese though, or just peanut? No, butter? just peanut butter. Okay, and a little butter to make it. Uh, well, but well, you got to put butter yeah. on the outside. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, I did it backwards. Butter on the it was peanut butter on the outside and butter Ooh. on the inside. See, that's you set yourself oh, apart. Crispy. That's oh. how you differentiate yourself. How, do you, how would you like a crispy jiff? Mmm. <laughs> At the crispy, crispy jiff wagon. <laughs> the other thing I could make was farina, and I probably wait. Have you ever had farina? It's like cream of wheat. And I've, I had only ever heard of it, but I never knew what it was. Yeah. I'm only aware of Dennis Farina. That was the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> well, he did do commercials in Chicago. Yeah. And now he's dead. Yeah. Yeah. But, uh, but yeah. Keep, keep your gay L.A. hands off our farina. Oh, that, was, <laughs> that was the premise of the old style. Things. It was. It yeah, was. It was. All these weirdos coming from L.A. take our old style. <laughs> yeah, when we saw those commercials the first time, because I had never seen them because I wasn't from Chicago. Yeah. And we watched them that first time on the air. It was, I'm like, this is a Saturday Night Live sketch. It is. But it happened. But that, wasn't. you keep that was... your Pellegrino fruit hands off our beer. <laughs> that, that was probably that played, but you know that played big there. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Pass over us. That was the only thing that kept old style a beer that I mean, no one should ever drink. Really, you shouldn't consume it. That was the only thing that shouldn't kept people buying it. <laughs> yeah, no, not at all. As a rule of thumb, no. reminder: don't consume our beer. Yeah. It's a halfway decent floor cleaner, but. As we, uh, yeah, made by what I always called Heilman's. <laughs> or did I call the mayonnaise that? That was it before. Yeah. yeah, Heilman's mayonnaise. I don't know why I put. Maybe Old Style is made by Heilman's. I think it is. Yeah. And I always thought the mayonnaise was Heilman's mayonnaise. <laughs> well, it is very. They might as well be made so in the dumb. same spot. Yeah, I know. Both, um, both for big fat guys. Derp, 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 derp. <laughs>